Hello. Happy Saturday. I didn't do a Friday. I'm kind of, the vlogging gets kind of dangerous while driving, so I'm kind of uh, keeping that, trying to find a good time to do that or maybe just start saving everything to a hard drive. Anyway, so I have been driving on this thing for a couple of weeks now and uh, it has gotten a little bit more scary. This strut here. Oh, is my light on? Oh, damn, my light is on. And it won't let me turn it off. Well, this strut here is definitely Gonzo's. It doesn't return very fast. The other ones, they, re they return with a good speed. This one just kind of, when you push it in, it just kind of slowly returns. So that strut is Dunzini's. However, the guys at Coney's, they said that uh, if I'm not capable of procuring the original purchaser, which these were given to me as a gift, so mm, I might kind of be screwed out of the warranty, but uh, they might be able to assist me in furthering my suspension ventures with keeping the car up off the ground as safely. I told them that I want to try to do it like a stadium truck style suspension travel, so maybe they might help me with that. Uh, so. I've also learned that there is quite a lot of fucking drag here uh, on the rear bumper here. Uh, yep. Yeah. This car is ridiculous. Okay, so now that I have got this a massive amount of wind that is capable of coming through, and it's not really being diffused by anything in the front since my front bumper is uh, missing, so the air is just passing immediately through, and then it's coming up and it's catching right here. Oh, buddy, I gotta, I gotta cut the fuck out of that bumper. Boy, oh boy, do I gotta do something. Either, like, you know, like a little, you know, or maybe do an M for Mazda, because I don't have, oh, well, I do have that, but there's no other Mazda badges on here. I don't know, something fun when I get my grinder, though, because the Sawzall was not so super duper with that. And, uh, oh, oh, yeah, yes, new things. Yes, my top is falling the fuck apart. You can see I did try to, I did have something over the tiny cracks, but you know, since it snowed and uh, I think this year this thing's gonna be Dunzini's for sure. But um, yeah, she does pretty good right now. It's, the sun's trying to peek out. Oh, I have been hearing a little bit of hitting here in the front. Right here. My buddy is also doing a lift. I should also notate this. Joe, underneath the fender, this is where the fender would be sitting. This is where the fender would attach. This side, the passenger side, is not rolled. This one I left all complete and complete tact. However, the driver's side wasn't so lucky. That one got cut a bunch of times. Let me see if I can get in there. If you can see it. Mm, okay. What we were looking at over there is here. It's been bent in here, coming across here, and then comes up there. I don't want to rub across it because I sawzawed the shit out of it and lots of pieces came off and yeah. Also, the rear. This is another questionable area. Now I cut off completely from the pinch weld. Like the pinch weld, if I can get in here, I can't get in here. Can't get in here where you can clearly see it. But the pinch weld is definitely been cut. I don't think that this uh, this chassis will ever hold water again because it definitely came drowning. Uh, mud came out for a little while after I cut it. Same thing over here. This might be a little easier to see because you can actually see into the car there. I gave that one a little extra, a little extra, extra because I was like, oh, I don't really want these to rub. Fuck it. So the plan though will be to, if I can find the support or what I can do underneath here, I'm not sure what I can do underneath here, but I plan on taking all of that off and then taking the top part of this fender here and rolling it in, just roll it right in. Just so the water can go all across the fenders. And then I'm going to tack weld it in there. Or mount it. I don't know. I could probably mount it, tack weld a bracket in there, and then mount it. 
but yeah that pretty much is the expectancy of what I can do oh I also learned that uh, these people that are charging $1,100 for a bar kit well I have the skill set to be able to build a bar set and stuff so I'm going to go ahead and take a crack at it and do what I can by doing uh, ordering the tools getting all the equipment needed to do like a hydraulic bar contemplating right now on which kind of uh, tube tube bender I should get but uh, I'm gonna do a couple of different things tube bender arc welder CNC machine a few other things everything that's gonna go on this car is gonna be built by me hopefully or me and some other people's uh, the Paco kit is the only thing right now that is that is different and the suspension inevitably or, or eventually at the end will be mine like I would have built this cylinder I've designed it and that's what I want that's the hope I want this car to be completely built by me Brian from BS Engineering yeah have a great day bye